Brotherhood is at your service. That's great. You honor us with your presence here. You Rothschild. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. How did, how did you know my father? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Thank you for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment? Yes. Um, my father was looking for something called a GAC, a Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Do you have one? A GAC? <laughs> Goodness, no. Certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. So, how do I find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault -Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Thanks. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. What's the situation? It appears the Enclave troops have moved beyond the Purifier into the surrounding wasteland region. No telling how far they might spread. Enclave. I see. Welcome! Enclave. I'm gonna have to... What is that? The Brotherhood is at your service. That is the biggest robot I have ever seen. This creation of the most powerful robot the battlefield has ever seen. With the express goal of liberating Anchorage. Liberty Prime. Excuse me. Welcome. Oh, never mind. Hang on. What's this? That's it. Excellent archive. This is. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. I guess. <sighs> what do we got? Aerial things. Oh wow. Well, seventy-six. Seventeen control vaults. What? Control vaults? That... That would mean the other vaults. What? No. Damn it. I... <sighs> what else do we got? Anything else here? the hell? 
So the vaults were always an experiment? Makes sense. 101 was clearly not one of the control vaults then. Probably some kind of brainwashing or isolation experiment. Or both. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just go to the guy. Control. Get back here. No, okay. Well, 87. Equipment. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Seven. Uh, shoot. Who was it? Oh, damn it. I don't know what the goal was for 87. Armada. fix and all that about that are you still having that issue with the head laser I think the term you used was invariably destructive we've been over this a slight modification to one system and all the subroutines go haywire don't worry I'm on it Rothschild old friend you're a brilliant technician but this old man's patience is wearing thin I want a full status report in three hours. Oh, very well. Now, now, please, uh, the giant robot to fix, hmm? So they're trying to get Liberty Prime working, huh? Yeah, good luck with that. We don't even know how to make our own robots nowadays. Hey. Ah, you're back. You need something else now. Uh, yeah, uh, I found a vault that has a gag, 87. I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Okay. okay. Subscribe Rothschild wanted those AMS tests done right away, so I went ahead and handled it for you. I didn't know I'm doing this. No, I guess it's done. I know exactly why I'm doing this. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why, exactly? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Hmm. I suppose you know about another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Hmm. I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. I didn't ask you Perhaps to. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. <sighs> yeah. Thanks. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do. Ah, I do. Okay. Well, 
87 is way over there. Relation to that. You honor us with your presence here. isn't going anywhere. I think it's time we uh, check up on a few things. See if Ahmad is okay. I don't even know if she'll open the door for me. Or if he'll open the door for me. <laughs> Breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is truly dead. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I just picked up the radio signal. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Avada? Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. Oh, oh, oh hell no. Oh hell no. I was going to get a bit of a night's rest before I check up on her, but it looks like I need to get my ass in gear.
Probably shouldn't wear the enclave armor in there. I don't want to remember that place. I'm just going to get rid of that. Not sure I like this gun. It's not as strong as I would think it would be. jacket on and everything. <laughs> we'll see if uh, we'll see if people are amenable to seeing 101 return. Oh, I can hear the PA system. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. <laughs> Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. I, uh, I, I need to talk with Amada. I, I got her message. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. What? I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I just had a hunch <clears throat> that she was in trouble. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. Okay. What sort of trouble? I mean, what's happened since I left? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. Yeah, a couple of weeks. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap. If you'll pardon my language. <laughs> dad would be pretty horrified to know that if he was still alive. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit, and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. Hmm. So what now, Gomez? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer. <laughs> but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. No. No. No, I, uh... I'm gonna see what I can do about all this. I can't, I can't walk away from this. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. 
Yeah, my gun doesn't have a stun setting. Don't worry, I can help clean up your bug infestation. Of both varieties. <sighs> Looks like he's stockpiling resources too. God damn it. Frickin' overseer. You don't belong here anymore. Shush. That's it, old man. We're opening that door. And to hell with the overseer's rules. Oh. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule. Stay back. Uh. Guys. Holy Taylor, crap. stop shooting, damn it. Don't you know enough to stay away? You almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. <sighs> rebels. You got a term now. Rebels? I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. I... What the hell, Taylor, is going on down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I I'll leave you alone. Yes, you do. Be more careful. Wow. Honestly, I don't know. Almost as bad as some of the vaults upstairs. Who the hell? Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Yeah. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Right, right. I can tell when I'm, uh... Wanted. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Wilkins? Oh, really? Let me explain to you what I've learned on the surface. If you shoot something in the head, they don't tend to fight back that well. Any other smart remarks? Huh? Don't just even start with me. Not in the mood. Where the hell is everybody who isn't a maniac? How many of these things did he have in storage? Careful, look out. Careful, look out. God, dude, the whole place looks like it's falling apart. Look at this. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. 
least they've still got good water down here. That's something they could use to trade at the outside world as long as they kept their backs covered and nobody just took it from them. Assuming nobody was a maniac and tried to just kill them all from the inside. I mean, they don't even have to worry about raiders at this point, do they? Long here. Should people have enough to worry about without all this mess? Well, I see you've returned. Hi. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Why would I ever want to be back here? Now stop being evil for five seconds and tell me your side of this little rebellion. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I still got a gun. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. I'm sorry, what do you mean by your vault's future success? Aha, uh -huh. you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. But this isn't a controlled vault. Also, a vault doesn't have to be isolated in order to keep its residency safe. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. I'm going to leave now, before I shoot you in the face and make my dear friend experience what I just experienced, because no one should have to lose both their parents like that. Where the hell is Amata? Where the hell is Amata? I am not in the mood for this right now. You're back again? Yeah. Tell me... Look, look, I'm looking for the rebels. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. That's great. We're, you know what, never mind. Go away. I don't care about you. Is this... This is... like a lifetime ago. God, what a frickin' brat I was. <laughs> Hello. Although I guess I still am. Where the hell? Okay, so this is... Let's 
so. You don't belong here anymore. Yeah, yeah, hang on. find you okay is that so hard is that such a difficult concept where are you yeah, of course you can't hear you me. don't belong here Just... anymore God, this place is kind of hell it's only been like four months I think something like that Hasn't been that long. Leave me alone. I already checked down here. Ah, I was just in there. Where the hell is everyone? Have they actually killed each other off this badly? I mean, I saw the corpses. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. Hi, bud. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. <laughs> you gotta work on that diplomacy, Budge. What the hell kind of help do you want from me? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Yeah. You know, normally I'd wonder what the hell's up with you, but honestly, I've been out there and I've been in here, and yeah, I'd take out there in a heartbeat. Don't worry, Butch. Regardless of your wonderful style of diplomacy, I am actually trying to help the vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? <laughs> Butch, what do you do in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. Right. And so what do you think you're going to do once you get outside? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? You have no idea how many gangs of idiot, punk-nosed raiders are already out there, do you? Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Whatever, Butch. Come back if you need something. Yeah, sorry. I'm all out of crazy. God. So yeah, this is where the rebels are hold up looks like. Amada! Oh my god, you're back! <sighs> you got my message and actually came back! I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. Oh, thank you. Everything's gone crazy since you left. And now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Um, yes. <laughs> Look, Amada, you're my best friend. You were my best. The least I can do is help out. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! Wait, what? 
Huh. So how'd you find this out? After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Um, you have a bit of a difficult choice here, Amada. Um, why don't you just leave? It's not really difficult, especially now. It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. It's just that since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the Overseer keeping us trapped down here. You need to stop him. I notice you're calling him the Overseer and not... Dad. The Overseer says uh, you're threatening the Vault's safety. But the Vault used to be open, and we're still here, aren't we? It worked back then, so why wouldn't it work now? No, they're just afraid we'll screw up and get hurt. They just won't accept that we can take care of ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Listen, Amada, I'm going to be 100% straight with you. My dad just died in front of me like yesterday, and um, I'm not really doing that great right now. And it, it, If this had happened, I don't know, a week ago, my very first reaction would be to storm up there and just kill every single last one of them. But you deserve better than to have your father die. So I, I, I've been thinking about it as I've been looking for you, and I, I, think I, have a, I, I think I have a solution. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll stop your father. I'll stop his guards. Okay? You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just, please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? I said I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't, Amada. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. <laughs> Thanks. And good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. You know that. Funny thing is that my time outside has changed me, but and at first I thought oh, I don't even know what I thought. I was just lashing out at anymore. everything, at every single thing I saw. It was just it was too much. But then I started helping people. And God, that felt good. It felt great to help people. And just, just for a little bit, I got to understand what it was like to be dad. To be the kind of guy who makes things better. For others, not just for himself. And I hate this damn vault <laughs> and everything in it. Leave oh, me here. alone. There we go. <sighs> no, no, this is where I just was. How the hell do I get out of this place? Okay, there's the reactor. Oh, here we go, here we go. God. I never could get used to the layout of this damn place. Fortunately for you, Amada, and for you, Overseer, I think I actually have grown a bit since I've been out there. Hey. What do you want? Listen to me. 
first of all, just bare bare minimum, one of the reasons the uh, <clears throat> rebels are upset is because you lied to them about the outside. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. Ah. Uh, that's what happened to Amada's mother. If there's one thing I've learned being outside, it's that life sucks. So you have two options. You can say, well, life sucks, head in the sand. Or you can get out there and fucking do something about it. So why don't you sit down and listen to me for once? I actually have a solution to your vault's problems. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Yes, 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 what I started. Now, the Rebels are correct. You need to open this vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? It's really simple. You literally don't have enough people to stay down here forever, especially since you've been killing them lately. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little, but we have enough genetic diversity for... A few more generations. Uh huh. Oh God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. Uh huh. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Humanity, you moron, is not about genetics. It's about not giving up. What? What did I just say? Are you gonna sit here with your head in the sand? Or are you going to do something about it? <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism. But I suppose you have a point. In your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission. But if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Now that actually sounds appropriate to me. You better be careful, Butch might shoot you the moment he sees you. I gotta be honest. The idea of shooting you in the back right now is real. Go ahead tempting. and start something. I dare you. You were just going the roundabout way here, aren't you? What are you doing? Do you, do you not know your own vault too? I mean I Lord knows I get trouble, but shoot, you've been here a lot longer than I have. Don't Why won't you just leave us shut alone? You've done up. Bah. Hey, Butch. I never thought you'd be back. Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Live, lives have been lost. But perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've no. proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then... I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. Good to see you. I... I just heard. 
My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. It's okay. We had a little talk. Explain things. All very civil. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. Oh, but whatever. I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. You might want to... It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. What's that? I mean, hang on, really quick, okay? There's a lot of people out there with guns and knives, and they all want to kill you and eat you, okay? Um, well, not all of them, but I'm just saying, you might want to set up a defense perimeter, it's just a thought. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> um, I mean, if I wasn't... If maybe... Maybe if you wanted me to, to help keep this place safe, you know, I'd be happy to help. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. Yeah? So I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. What? I just saved this vault, and you're kicking me out? No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. <laughs> Goodbye, Amada. It's good okay. to see you again. I never thought you'd be back. You know, I'm not even sure what I think about that. No. I take that back. I know exactly what I think about that. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough. Snakes rule. <laughs> 